Welcome back. It's not often that you get to use a mallet around the house, let alone for a craft project. Our craft expert, Jennifer Ackerman Haywood of the Grand Rapids Press and CraftSanity.com is here to show us the art of leather crafting. This sounds very interesting to me. I've never heard of it before. You can work out a lot of aggression with this, oh, which I is kind of cool, you know, Where'd if you're you feeling a little uptight. Where'd you get the inspiration for this? Well, I uh, went to the Fulton Street Artis Artisans Market last week, and I had a little free booth, and I invited people on this segment last week to come and show me what they do, talk to me about what they're doing. And I actually met Chris Howard, came by with his wife and his family, and we got to talking. Turns out he's a leather worker. Okay. I didn't know a whole lot about it either. Like, okay. I knew, like, saddle work and some really cool, like, holsters people right, wear. Right, right. But, you know, I'm not in any westerns, and I don't have a horse, so. You don't have any of those, you know, no, leather. <laughs> no, no, I don't have that. So I didn't know have a lot about it, and so we got to talking, and I went and visited him. He actually works at um, Tandy Leather Factory. I want to get the name of that right, on Division. And so he's been able to find a way to um, work professionally in his at his hobby, which is really cool. That is great. And, that's and, local. So yeah, that's great. it's right on Division. And these are some things that he's making. And this, I wrote my column about him this yeah, week. Cool. These are little shields for kids to play. Oh. So it's a little shield, so if they're playing warrior, you know, they have these little Hold shields. Hold it up and... Yeah. Okay. And then this is a little um, canoe, and it actually floats. It actually floats, which is really cool. Yeah, that's very cute. And then he makes these really cool checkerboards, and he's going to be selling all this stuff at the artisan's market. Um, and so all this is, you know, leather work, and yeah, then he puts some... I don't know if you can see the design on this. Yeah, they're... But they're very cool, and each piece has a little different design on it. And this one is more polished than this one. Yeah, you can do matte finishes or gloss finishes, and okay. so there's a lot of variety. You also can use acrylic paint and seal it between two clear sealers, two layers. It's really cool. Okay. He's going to have some uh, at the end there. There's some uh, fortune cookies. He's yeah, going to make those into keychains. Oh, very cool. And then he has a Halloween mask that he made, and he actually wore that last year. Uh, could only see out of one eye. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> well. The price you pay to look cool. Yeah, <laughs> and then the um, piece right next to you, right behind that, um, this is a, a wall oh, art piece that he made for his wife. Um, he does a lot of birth art. His okay. wife is a midwife, so he does. I don't uh, a shot of that. There we go. Very cool. Yeah, so what I did this week then is I tried to learn the basics of this because I didn't know anything about it. And the cool thing is, and I'm kind of suggesting this weekend, this is a good thing that dads can do with their sons or daughters because it's, you know, Father's Day weekend and this is a, a craft that kind of appeals to both genders, which yeah. is really cool. Yeah, the leather's kind of that, that manly edge to it. Yeah, it does so. have a manly edge, so it's not like crocheting with your son. Okay, um, so let's but, get started on it. Yeah, that. so basically what you can do is you can buy these packages um, that they come three in a pack. It's like a wristband here. Okay. Okay. And then what you can do, they have leather I, from the hardware store with this one here. If you can see, I'll put it up front. Um, there's uh, this one is just I took some stamps from actually the hardware store. Okay. And um, just put a the row quote on there. And so you can really personalize these in any way you want. Um, what I did actually, I went to the craft store and found fondue cookie cutters um, that you just How cute. can yeah. cut the letters out. And I'm going to put the word rock on this one. Okay. And this one is kind of un unconventional. This is where I got crafty with it. Because most of the time you're going to want to use, and I'm just pounding this in. And most leather working tools have a long post on it. Okay. Um, but I'm kind of going to go my own direction here. You pound your word in. Okay, and okay. so then you come back, and I'm going to skip forward. I did the word dream okay. on this one. Okay, and so, and I just punch that in. And then what you do is you take your background tools, and these have some texture on them. And what you do is you just kind of go around. And you, like, this is where the pounding, this is hard to do when the kids go to bed. Yeah. But you just kind of keep going, and that gives it the background. And I'll move oh, over cool. here. Okay. For my husband, I put the Apple logo on this. Um, <laughs> because he's, he's a big Mac, Mac fan. He's a Mac guy. Um, and then what you do is you just can take your, your stain here on a paper towel, rub that in. It kind of gives a little more definition. But you can buy these um, keychain kits. You know, you just you spray it with a spray bottle first. Very cool. And it, Looks like this. When now we only have a couple seconds left. So yeah. You can make these bracelets. You can make keychains. Anything make pretty much, much your heart desires. Anything you can out make. of yeah. My sister's doing a breast cancer walk, so I bought Very this. Cool. Put the feet on there, and this is acrylic paint on here. So really, anything you want to do, um, you can make hair Very buttons cool. or barrettes. Um, yeah. Anything your heart desires, you can make out of this little leather stuff. Yes. Very it's cool. Really fun. Thanks for being here, Jennifer. Thank we appreciate you. it.